Choo! Welcome back, folks. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, gotta say huge shout out to Current for sponsoring today's video. Current is the future of banking. It is a real bank account with no hidden fees and no minimum balance requirements. It's a mobile bank and it comes with this real Visa debit card. It is a real Visa debit card right here. With Current, there's free overdraft up to $100. You can also get paid up to two days sooner using Current. You can earn points on purchases and redeem it for cash and you can also deposit checks using the camera in your phone through the current app. It works with Apple Pay, Google Pay, Cash App, and Venmo. The other thing that I like about it is they have accounts available for teens under the age of 18. So you don't even have to be 18 to do this. It's a really good way to start for your first ever bank account. And the best part about all of it is it takes less than two minutes to sign up and this card right here ships for free. So do yourself a favor and click the link down below. Join the future of banking through Current. Huge shout out to those guys for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys to enjoy. So click the link down below if you guys are interested. With that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! What is going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Starting the day off, Banjo, how's it going? It looks depressed. Thumbs up. Yeah, you really? Thumbs up. What? what why, why didn't you bring me a mask? I'm always strapped. This is I mine. Got you're strapped you're matching. Yeah. He's got his. I got mine. We keep him in the truck. Yeah. And then I'm over here like this. Yeah. Like look at, you look poor with that thing. Really? Yeah. That's a bougie? Hey, you, you're yeah. not a doctor. You'll take a look. That's not. Hey, that's <laughs> I, I didn't that's say right. it. So anyways, we're starting the day off at, <laughs> well, we're at Cabela's. And do you I'm see what's over your, there? I'm going to spend your money. Should we Should we wait by this guy's car and ask for a ride? I think we should just go at least vlog it. <laughs> well, I don't want to like invasion of privacy or nothing, but like. Show his license plate. They like that. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. I don't want this dude to get pissed <laughs> and come out and shoot us. We were driving through the parking lot and I was like, oh, you guys what this is so basically it's like an airboat but not a boat in it sky. flies and it flies okay what do you call them? Uh, paris uh no Paris-Alien? there's no it's no. not a, there's a name for it it's a type of i'm not going boat. across the street we'll, we'll just use that zoom feature look at that thing right there wow so it's like a fan with three wheels and then you <laughs> like a fan on wheels how neat you people like just you just yeet like like you could just yeet this back yeah, back you, home you tie a parachute onto her you have like a joystick to like turn dude i think we should get one i saw it on facebook dude. How, how have those purchases gone so far? Yeah, pretty, Facebook's pretty, pretty good. So anyway, speaking of purchasing things, Banjo's like, hey, got an idea on how to spend some more of your money. Let's go to Cabell's and look at this electric golf cart slash UTV side-by-side -side looking thing. So I'm like, all right, so I've been wanting to get a golf cart and build it for a long time. Like get a golf cart, hook up with Ultimate Truck and have them get, you know, the lift, the wheels, the tires. They did the whole mini truck build. Um, the reason why we're running electric is because we want something quiet, okay? Something that- Which we're not good at. Yeah, we're, we're not. Quiet. No, I mean, like the mini truck was supposed to be our hunting truck until I realized well, the deer are gonna run away if they hear this thing. That's why we never really use it. Cause it's like, if you're just gonna use that, then you might as well just use a side by side. So this is gonna be more for stealth hunting. So you're going to the blind, you can take this there and be silent, unload your stuff and go ditch it in the woods nearby. Or maybe we're hunting coyotes at night with thermals and we just cruise around and look for coyotes with the side by side and they don't hear. So, or we could just get that. There That's it quiet. is. That's what we're getting. It's not quiet, but hey, I, I, bet it's, I bet it's faster than the deer. You can just run them over, right? Isn't that how that works? Really? Get That's in, get, do you give it a spin, Jim. No, I'm good. Come on, you got it. No, no, no. Do you think? Do you think these are built? Like, do you think this are, brand's are actually yeah, good? Tracker? Yeah. Why not? This thing's. I mean, it's not like they're gonna break this thing in a week. I mean, that's just it. How good do you think these things are? How much is? It? I don't know. I feel like it's pretty good. You think they're decent? I mean, ever here's the thing. What do we have it to compare to? Every every side by side I've ever bought's broken. Yeah. Okay, so like. What... I mean, to be fair, this thing's cheaper than our side by sides. So. Yeah, these are these are cheaper, which is weird mm -hmm. though. Like even like the, the other brands. No, no, no. And like they also, the they other brands, them. this style. It's always a, it's is, a two seater. Yeah, mm -hmm. is way less. It makes no sense. Yeah. Like my, I have like the grandpa side by sides, and they are by far the most expensive. It literally makes no sense. So we called these guys and they said that they had them. So they must be inside. I'm guessing he said, yeah, he was he like, said he was I was I'm looking at one right now. It has a seat, has on, a seat on, it. on it. Yeah, I said, thank God. I hope it has a seat on it. So we're gonna go ahead and jump down in here and see what we find. All right, we're making our way back. So this is that same one, 20,000. Why is this one $1,000 cheaper? Look at this, it's 13,000. Look, that's seven. Banjo, I say you just take that guy. Really? This is gas? That's probably gas, isn't it? Fuel injected. Dude, yeah, these are yeah. so cheap. I wonder how these are gonna actually, is this it right here? $13,000? Are you out of your freaking mind, guys? Oh my God, it is. Why is that so expensive? Hey, it's already got gun racks for us. What? Oh, really? Oh, this thing's already built for us. Is it? Can, it looks like it's almost lifted. Oh, it does have pew racks. Oh, I'm in. So I can hold the pew? Come on, you got it. Oh, is this coming up? 
I have huh. no clue. Huh? How's this work? There you go. Shove it down there. Huh. And you're good to go. How about that? Easy enough. How's that look? It was neat. I didn't realize it was $13,000. Rip. Why is it? Why really? Yeah, hey, that's my Banjo, game. ban. Do we price match? You got these cheaper anywhere else? Oh, those are kind of sick. How do we get three bikes? Is that easier? How much are these? I mean, no, they're 2600 2700 Nope, brand new, 3300 oh, with optional cute. features. I was gonna, uh, so it's about 10 k for three bikes. So would you rather spend 3000 more and not have a bike to yeah. ride? We would have, you think so? I don't. don't. And they would get old. I feel like it would get old. Yeah. Like, like maybe getting... You, like if we go deer hunting, we kill a deer. How are you, how are you getting... Oh yeah, Trent, you have to think about that. <laughs> how are you getting the deer back? Don't Everybody hooks up and we have three of them are like sled dogs. <laughs> you put the Still deer on the sled and you get three of them up there. This, no, I don't think that's the move. Really? I'd be flying. It's the this quiet all-terrain I'll select. See, that's just it would work. Yeah, I never thought about that though. How do you get your deer out? You unless don't. you unless you do it like you do in the mountains where you like yeah, gut it and like pack it out in no, a backpack. No, no. I'm talking about hunting in the backyard, folks. So we are trying to or or you get one of these doohickeys and call it a day. You're having a kid soon, right? Yeah, I'm not. Not that's not true. Not true at all. So that's gas so that's like a gas powered golf cart. Why does that look more like a golf cart than this guy? This I mean it is a golf cart. I mean it, like you can see the wheel, see how it's got the shaft cool right deer. there? Let's see it. Really? Turns wow. into a truck. That is kind of cool. Put your deer How right here. neat. And you can throw your see they gotta figure out they put the deer in there. How fast do you think this is? You think they're gonna let us drive it? I gotta see what kind of horse what what is what does it say 72 volts? How many horsepower is that? So I think this thing's four wheel drive, which is important. Thirty or 38, 38 horsepower. And it could tow a thousand pounds. What what else do we have that's around 38 horsepower? What's the tank? More horsepower than that? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's around 38. Yeah. So this is oh that's why it's this is why it's more. It's because it's got the full windshield, rear view mirror. I mean, it has a winch. The other one. It's have got the winch. The one it's got the gun boot mount, the oh, side no, boot no. passenger side gun. Oh, premium gun boot driver side gun smoke package. Got it. That's why. So normally this would be like 11,300, but Stop for yourself. today, no hassle, no haggle. You get it for 13. That's the that's the. I think you got a hassle and haggle on. Think he's up for it or what? Yeah. All right. Well, well, let's go do some hassling and haggling. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, you know, uh, man, Banjo, it's one thing to go on Facebook and buy things and it not, you know, work out, but going to one of the largest outdoor retailers in the country. Unbelievable. So, oh, wow, this is a doozy, folks. Okay, I've bought, as you guys are well aware, I've bought a lot of things before. Okay, a lot of four wheelers, UTVs, boats, trucks, a lot of things before. I, not, and I'm only saying that because I have experience with the purchasing process. Okay, so as you guys saw, we walked around it, looked at it, we're like, hey, we like this thing. Let's go do business. So I walk over to Junior and I say, hey, I want that golf cart over there. He says, okay, sounds good. I said, can I buy it? Yeah. I said, can I take it home today? No. Oh, do I just need to come well, pack it? First, you're like, can I test drive this? Oh, take that back. Yes. He goes, no, so, you can't touch it. So I said, can I test drive it? He says, no. Which well, I get, but said, like, not this one. yeah, which I don't, I don't know, know what that means. That means. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that one's a, maybe that one doesn't have a motor and it's just like the floor Dis model. Display? Yeah. I don't know. So I, I asked it. I was like, can I test drive it? Because I, I want to see what kind of power, right, that this this electronic UTV has. He says, no, you can't touch drive it. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll just buy it anyway. I'm uh, hopefully it's good, right? Like I've bought a lot of things. So I'm just like, whatever. Let's just hope for the best. It can't be that bad. How bad could it be? Well, in about two months, we'll let you guys know because <laughs> first off, I called this guy, okay? So I, this, this Cabela's is an hour away from my house. So I call him. I say, hey, ride. do you have one of these in stock? Yes, I'm looking at it right now. Can I come in today and look at it? Yep, sounds good. So I drove an hour with my freaking trailer to get in there and for him to say, you can buy it today, but you can't take it home. I'm like, okay, whatever. I've, I've bought like a motor from Cabela's once and they made me wait like a day. Like, it's just whatever. They got to get it ready. Now, the only thing that's weird about this is there's no oil, there's no gas. Normally it's like, usually they have to do like engine prep, which is why it takes a day. This is a golf cart. You charge it and it goes, okay, right? So he's like, no, you can't. I said, so when's it gonna be ready? Probably about a week. I was like, a week? So you're telling me right now, I'm coming in here to buy this thing and I can't take it home for a week. No, nope, can't for a week. And I was like, oh, is it like, cause of COVID? You know, and I, I'd understand, right? No, it just normally takes a week. So not only can I not test drive it, but I have to purchase it today. And if I purchase it today, I won't even get to even see the vehicle for a week to even then at that point, maybe test drive it and decide side no. On top of that, they don't take checks. So I have to go to the bank and get a money order or a cashier's check or literally a brick of freaking cash, a stack. They'd Should we that. mess with these guys and bring them pennies or something? One, like some, we got to, right? We have to, we have to now. <laughs> I feel they like they want to take it. Oh, they're going to have to take, like, this is insane. <laughs> I you can deny I've bought many cars, many side-by-sides. I've bought four-wheelers. All my toys were paid for 
in full. None of them were, were financed, right? In every single one, I've written a cash for, or a check for, in, in, in like a personal, you have a checkbook. Every single one. I've bought in cars with a check before. Who doesn't sell a golf cart and you have, you're telling me I gotta go to the bank? This is a million dollar wire transfer. The only reason why I'm ranting, because me being a dumb YouTuber who has people like Banjo that convinced me to spend money, but a normal person that doesn't, you know, do this for YouTube and just wants a reliable side by side, who in charge of the Cabela's dealership thought it was a good idea to not let customers test drive it, make them wait one week before they even get to see it. Also required me to put $500 down in cash, couldn't be a check. So I, I just spent 500 bucks, don't even know what it looks like, won't see it for a week. And once I see it, if I decide I don't like it, I don't know if I can even get that $500 back. And on top of that, I have to bring in a cashier's check for the final bout. Just, what a headache. Are they trying not to sell things? Like literally, somebody like. was like, you know, what's the best way we could motivate people to not actually purchase from us? I'm sorry, I, I don't like just to rant on brands for no reason, but this is a problem. This is not, like I said, I've bought many toys from different dealers. It's not like yeah. we have one dealer in no, Omaha. No. I've bought cars from two, three, four, five different dealers. All my side-by-sides have been mostly from different dealers. We even bought the tanks. With all, checks. With everything. <laughs> been with check personal checks and I go in there I give them a check and I walk out with that product the same day I've never had to wait more than that day to walk home with something let alone a week let alone not be able to test drive it let alone not be able to bring a check and on top of that I had to give them $500 in cash to just what, what do you think they're gonna uh, to oil. hold it to, no, to check to, the oil. To, what are they gonna <gasps> you Cabela's to do that. He come that. on now like you gotta you gotta figure it out I know no one from Cabela's is probably watching nor does anyone care mainly I'm just doing this for you guys if you want to go buy something from these guys. I'm not telling you not to. Just, you got to know what you're in for. When I call somebody at Cabela's and say, do you have this item? Can I come look at it today? They should have said, you can come look at it today, but you can't take it. It takes about a week. If you're looking to buy it, whatever. I drug a trailer an hour for nothing and they didn't say nothing. <sighs> hey, how's it going? Well, let's go ahead and I guess see you in a week. See you guys next week. Shoo! We got the golf cart, folks. It's been seven weeks and it's snowed out and it's... We finally got it. How are you feeling about it? Yeah. I haven't revealed it yet, but we just picked it up, took it off the trailer. It's actually kind of dirty. We got dirty on the drive, but we got to figure it out, okay? I, I partially want to apologize for like going off at the store because like it's not really anyone's fault except for like the store policies and like I get why they won't take personal checks. They just want you to finance it and that's the... I, I get it. They're on that grind. I get it, but I'm, on, I'm more mad because that's nothing too crazy. I mean, I've never had to do that, but like, you know, it's it's not super abnormal for someone to not take a personal check. I get it because I'm sure they got scammers. They probably got burnt before. The thing that pissed me off is they wouldn't let me test drive it, Banjo. That's yeah. that's messed up. Yeah. How, how are you like, how, you go to buy a car and it's like, no, 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 don't nah, touch. You can look at it. Yeah. The thing that pissed me off is that we had to wait. And then, oh yeah, and There's that. A waiting period. And we had to wait. And so when I asked him, I was like, you know, do you have to wait because of COVID or are you behind? No, just like in general, they're just like, that's just how long it's going to take. It's not like they were backed up or anything like that. Anyways, we're done ranting. We got the video. Vehicle. Today we're putting it to the test and this is what she looks well You guys already saw it. I guess but this is what she looks like. This is the floor model They literally took the one off the floor. They said this is the first one they've ever sold. Yeah, that was nice That was like not reassuring. I was like, oh, so I'm the guinea pig. Okay I'm sure I'm not the first person to ever own it But that location they had never sold one before I think these are th these things are fairly new But to kind of give you a more thorough walk around basically we'll start at the front We got a winch a nice 4,500 pound winch that we will test today I and mean, see if we can get this thing stuck lights definitely gonna have to upgrade some lights some light bars somewhere we're thinking and again comment down below some modification ideas but we're thinking you you mount a bracket and then have a yeah have a little rack a little basket. system basket where you could either put pew holders or just put your lucy. gear i guess lucy can ride in there lucy what do you think you guys like the golf cart hey there's not enough room for the big dogs we haven't shown them in here yet oh what's oh yeah look at this thing's like a freaking tesla Dude. 72 72 volts isn't that so crazy many batteries i was like this is basically a tesla and the guy's like yeah not really i was like oh okay so that's what it looks like though absolutely insane i'm really hoping these batteries last because i'm sure that's got to be got to be pretty expensive uh to replace those and so you charge it there's like a charging port over yeah. there i haven't i haven't even tried charging it yet it came charged so that's good and then in the back like i said i know you guys have already seen this but now that we're not in the store we can actually kind of go over it. so you can sit here like you're just chilling you could ride two so you could re ride four people or if you just need some cargo space 
you flip that down, and you've got a bed. I don't know how much. Oh, 250 pounds. So you actually could load quite a bit of stuff in it. There's not, you don't have like good side rails or nothing, so stuff would, would pretty much like fall out. But you could add Upgrades. something. We, we need to upgrade it and kind of make it, make it, we got to customize it. I'm going to talk to my friend Marty at Ultimate Truck and see what he thinks he can do to this bad boy. And then it comes with these guys, some pew holders, but I honestly don't, they look cool. Like it looks badass, but the way they function, we're, we're quick. We like to just grab, you know, grab a pew, throw it on the mule and go rather than take this off, put it in the case, put it long term traveling. It would be good, but I would much rather have just like a back rack here where you just set your pew, strap it in and go more of a quick, but I mean, they don't hurt anything leaving them as of right now. So we're going to leave them on there. We do have a hitch receiver. So, I mean, if this thing can tow, I mean, we, we can't try it today because there's too much snow, but like I, we should just hook it up to the big boat. Just be like, can it, will it work? You know, yeah. like how much, I don't know how many horses this thing has. I don't know what they said. It, it was a couple of them. Tell them how you like put it in reverse. Yeah. So then the shifting, oh, I didn't even see this. We have a glove box. Uh, oh, wow. Keep the old nine in there. So climb aboard. I do like how much you do have like quite a bit of leg room though. Yeah. I mean, you're chilling. So this is how you do it. You got bunny and turtle, lights, park release, winch, power. I don't know what that button does or what that is, but it's off. Now it's in reverse. Now it's in neutral. Now it's in forward. God damn. Hey, hey. You both ran me over. Hey, this thing got some get up and go, son. Oh my goodness. Really? This thing gets after it. No, you don't need to come up here yet. No, we don't need big dog up in here yet. Dude, so it's just immediate. It's That's how silent it is. So then it's like, oh, put it in neutral, put it in reverse, turn it off. Yeah, you better back up there, son. Beep, beep. No horn. Uh, definitely gonna take these doors off, though. We ain't, we ain't need these doors. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can put speakers up here. You could do all sorts of stuff. Again, comment down below what you guys think we should do. The reason why we got this, and you might be thinking, why'd you get another one? You got two four-wheelers, three side-by-sides, two tanks. You got all these toys. Why do you need another one? This one's silent. Okay, this is important. Anytime, it's not even just for hunting. It's anything to do with related to hunting. So, going, checking trail cameras, right? So, we go set all these trail cameras for deer. Really? She likes it. You like you like the golf cart there, buddy. <laughs> Okay, you're driving. You're, she's the captain now. But like, you know, setting trail cameras, checking trail cameras, we're gonna get feeders going, mineral feeders, protein feeders, all that stuff like that. Basically all of our deer management videos, you're gonna wanna use this because you don't wanna scare the deer. Like a lot of times we just run down to the ponds, the backyard ponds or around the farm, and it's not a big deal to be loud. You're shooting pews and whatever, but when you get into like the bedding areas, the feeding areas for the deer, you're gonna wanna be quiet. So that's where we got this thing. This was the only four wheel drive one I could possibly find, and that's, that's why we ended up going with it. But we do wanna add some upgrades to so just to let you guys know, I'm not just buying things to buy things. I like toys. Toys are my favorite thing ever. I love buying ATVs, four wheelers and stuff like that. But this is something I've wanted for a really long time. I did like at least a month or two of research. I had Marty at Ultimate Truck do some research. It was really tough to find a four wheel drive. At least I think it's four wheel drive. They said it's, I think this one's dual motor is what they said. They said that it, I think it has, well, maybe this wasn't this one. I thought this one said dual motor where like there's a motor for the front and the back, but maybe not. But it's supposed to be four wheel drive. We're going to put it to the test today. So we're going to run it around. We're going to show you guys how fast it can go. Banjo's got an app, right? That tells you how yeah. fast it goes. So we're gonna see how fast it goes. We gotta go feed the animals. It's in the morning, so we gotta go feed them. And we're gonna try to, well, maybe get this thing stuck. We're gonna take it in some snow. I mean, we had the mule out yesterday and we almost got the mule stuck. The four-wheel drive 1,000cc mule almost got stuck. So if that thing almost gets stuck, I would say this is almost certain to get stuck, but you guys will have to stay tuned and find out. Stay tuned. All right, turn it on, put it in forward, give her help. God. Is this thing top heavy or is that just me? Thing. Was it kind of top? It feels top heavy. I think it is. My butt's sliding on this, so I can't. Uh, I mean, I think it just has good suspension. It'd be pretty hard to roll that thing. I guess we can find out. All right, let's see how fast it goes. All right. Well, I don't. I couldn't tell from the outside. I couldn't tell. It, it, it seemed a little top heavy. Just or not leans really. a little. I think yeah. it's just giving a lean. Cause I feel like there's just not much weight up high. It's not like this thing's jacked way up, but it could be top heavy. We're not sure. So Banjo's gonna get the app ready. We're gonna see how fast the sucker goes. All right, we're moving. Says we're doing one mile an hour. Watch out, doggos. We're about to haul booty. The turning radius is good on this thing. I will say that. All right, here we go, boys. We're full throttle. We're at five, eight, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. 
23. Top speed is 23. I think that's pretty quick for an electric golf cart. The dog's following us. Come on, doggies. We gotta go feed the animals. You think it's gonna go? I thought I was saying like I'd be impressed with 20. It was pretty good, but this this bench is very slippery. Yeah, I told you my I, tush was slippery. I feel like I was gonna fall out. Alright, we're gonna run down. Dude, I love it's just like you don't have, there's no shifting, you don't have to put anything in par. This is totally different than like any other mule or four-wheeler I've ever owned. It's just like power's right there, it's automatic, there's no shifting, but it's like the power's a little delayed. So like you hit the gas and it's like vroom. It's not you, you can't like feather it. It's either you're on go mode or you're on no go mode. You know what I'm saying? So it's I mean I'm sure it runs like every other golf cart. I haven't really taken many golf carts out, but we're gonna see what the animals think. Rafi! Look at the new rig, buddy. It's quiet. They didn't even see we snuck up on them. They didn't even know we were coming to feed them grain. What are you guys doing, Rick? Look at this. You don't even have to put it in park. It just chills. You just turn it off. I would say like just quick and convenient. We haven't seen what the battery life is, like the duration, how long will it go? You know, we haven't figured that out quite yet, but like, I think we- the grain? Huh? Who spilled the grain? Huh? The oh, is that open? Lucy, no, no. You can tell. Something was in there. Ralph oh, no, I bet it's probably a raccoon. raccoon? Lucy, don't eat that hey. grain. I bet a raccoon jumped in there. Yeah. Wonder if they figured out how to take the lid off, because I don't remember leaving that lid no, off yesterday. It was on, but if maybe it wasn't like, like yeah, a latched off, all the way. Know? What up, Piggy? You want some grain, buddy? Get some of that grain, Ralph. There you go, buddy. Well, let's go ahead and feed the animal. Yep, there you got it. Come on, Carol. Look how fluffy you look. Come on, Carol. We got some grain over here, buddy. I like the old rig. I think I'll have to see if we can get it lifted. I feel like it, the clearance is maybe a little low. Yeah. Just a little. It's not bad. For a golf cart, I would say it's... It looks pretty cool. Um, we can definitely make it a lot cooler. Um, but if it, if you got, if you could bump it up a little, it's just like, eh, we're, we're gonna put it to the test because the clearance on that looks like maybe eight inches, and we've got like a foot and a half of snow out there. So I think we're gonna really put it to the test to say, today to see if this thing kind of like high centers or how it does. When I was doing cookies up by the house, it seemed like I was able to kind of get in some deeper snow, but the two back wheels were still on the ground, like on on pavement kind of thing. So, anyways, get these guys fed, and then let's see if we can get this sucker stuck. Alrighty folks, well we've made it back up to the house. We got everything fed, taken care of. So we're thinking here, this is this is where we put it to the test. So we got a good winch on it. Do we, should we go get it? Let's go get another meal first, just in case we gotta pull it out. Cause then, otherwise we're walking. I ain't about that walking life. That's why I got one of these suckers. So this is deep snow, about a foot. Look how deep that is. Up to my boot, about foot, foot and a half. I'm gonna try to go down the hill, not over the cliff hopefully, and then try to go back up the hill. Now, when we got the cop car in, the middle of the summer, when it, the, dr the ground is dry, it wouldn't even go up the hill. So, or the mini truck, the mini truck wouldn't either. I'd be pretty surprised if this thing doesn't get stuck, trying to get up the hill, but we'll see if it gets stuck, see if I roll it, see if we can winch it out. I mean, we could always try to winch to that. You think, how strong do you think that post is? Give it a lean or something. Cause if that's strong, we could just try to stick close to that. I don't want to break that thing. Oh no, you're not breaking that. Okay, all right, well, we'll just, let's not get another mule. Let's winch it to that. Yeah. We'll all stick around it. That way, if we need to run the winch back, we can try to winch to that just post. Go, like straight down and try to come back. And try to, yeah, see if we can get back up. So we'll see how this sucker does. It, this is probably the worst conditions possible. It's super deep snow, about a 45 degree decline, incline hill. Let's put it to the test. All right, I got the seatbelt on for the first time. All right, let's give her help. Okay, so far so good. God. Dude, this thing is so top heavy. Dude, it's working. No way, no. Dude, no way, no way. Look at this beast! Look at this beast! Oh, you're so close! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Dude, I don't think the mule would almost do this. Seriously. I would never have guessed that. I literally think the mule would struggle to do that. For real. We were taking the mule in the snow yesterday and it was not doing that well. So I don't think you can get this thing stuck. If it can go up that hill in snow, I feel like maybe it's because it's so light. I think so. I don't. I don't know why. Light and has enough power. And it's four wheel drive. It, was, it got close. It was very close to not getting stuck. I don't know how we're gonna get stuck. I thought I was guaranteed to get stuck halfway. I feel up. like we need to go try to get it stuck now. All right, let's go try to get it stuck. All right. Well, we're gonna try getting this thing stuck. I want to see what the winch can do. We gotta test the winch. So we're actually gonna go next to my house. There's a really steep hill, and see if it gets stuck trying to get back up it, or there's a bunch of snow drifts and stuff, and see if we can get a high center. Whee!
dude, this thing is an absolute beast. Oh. I don't think you can get it stuck. That's the steepest hill I got. They want me to climb a terrace? <laughs> what about that? I feel, I feel like I would roll. If it flip. starts slipping, I'd roll it. I don't know if you can get it stuck. I really don't. I take back what I said. This thing's a beast. Well, this did not work out as planned. We planned on getting this thing stuck. We're, but Banjo's getting in here. He's buckling up. We're just gonna have to start driving until we get this thing buried somewhere because we gotta get it stuck. We gotta test the winch. I wanna see what the, the capability of the sucker is. But I just took it up the two steepest hills I got in a foot of snow. I'm impressed. I am too. Millie, I'm impressed. No, you can't come in. All right, let's see if we can get the sucker stuck somewhere. This is the steep. Oh, oh my, that's how steep it is. Oh, I feel like we were on two wheels for a second. Yeah, we might have been. Yeah, why don't you hop out? Because yeah. I might roll this one. Oh, You're just spinning one tire. That tire's not even moving. Really? Oh, dude, that's a straight clip. Like it's nothing. I got it stuck now. Let's get this sucker out. All right, we got the biggest piece of equipment we got around. Well, we do have a skid loader, but this right, this works. So I do have a winch on my truck. Now, if I was in a real situation, I'd probably just use the winch on my truck to bring it up, but I want to test the winch on the, the actual golf cart itself. So I'm just going to take that winch and attach it to my winch, but use that winch to pull it out, if that makes sense. Let's see if it works. Ugh, they don't make this easy to get out. Oh, Jesus, this is not very free spool. Okay. All right, let's see if this works. It worked! It, I was able to drive it. See, it's weird sitting in this thing and then actually operating, but I was able to actually like give it gas while the winch pulled out. Hey, that worked. Shoo! All right, well, we got it fixed up and moved out and it worked pretty good, but we can't end today's video without potentially seeing Bams go to the ER. Oh, so goodness. you go ahead and get in there and you give her hell. He hadn't driven it quite yet. How do you work this thing, mister? So I'd probably just turn, so I think if you leave it in forward for too long, it, see how it doesn't work. So go ahead and turn it all the way off and then all the way back on. Now you're, you're in good. put it in turtle mode. You're in good, you're, oh, I didn't even try turtle mode. I'm a, I'll try it for you. First. Start off in turtle mode. We don't need you dying. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Oh, that's nice. This thing, this, is that really? Yeah. Thing looks pretty cool when it's driving around. Oh, yeah. oh god, yeah. Oh god, yeah. Oh, he's getting it. He's getting it. Hell, oh god, yeah. The thing looks pretty sweet. I haven't seen it like I haven't seen anyone else drive it since we got it. I just loaded it on the trailer and ran it around today. But watching it run around, it actually looks pretty sweet. But I think we can make it look cool. I think light bars would be good. Obviously, pure racks and holders and. That type of stuff. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What should we do with this thing? And also, what should we name this thing? We got it. We need a name for this. Is it the Beefcake Buggy? Like I, I just came up with that on top of my head. Is that is that what we're going with? The beefcake Buggy? Like what is uh, this off-road mega golf cart? What's the name of this sucker? Oh, Banjo's on. He's on high speed. Come on, Millie, Lucy, over here. Get out of the way. You don't get run over. Look at that. Shoo! It's not the quickest brakes ever. No. So I've noticed the brakes are like electronic like your tires won't lock up it just physically slows the vehicle down yeah it doesn't it won't stop on a dime i almost got stuck really i went like a little snow drift the things this is by far 10 times more impressive than i expected i i did not expect it to do well in the snow i remember they were getting it you guys saw it, it was super nice outside and then it snowed and i was so pissed i'm like if only they were just normal and would have given it to me the day or maybe the day after i was like where are we gonna take a freaking golf cart little did i know this sucker's got better traction 
than all the mules I have. Now, it's probably because it's light. It doesn't have, you know, it's not a crew cab, so it's not big and long. It's got good fresh tires on it. And it, it seems like the, the traction control features of it seem to work pretty well. It propels it nicely. So I think we're gonna, that's gonna be the old garage getter. I think yeah. we're, we can leave that in my actual garage. And then when we need to get to the shop, we can just jump in the buggy and take it and make it make it easy instead of having to walk. Not like walking is bad, but I don't, well, the reason I'm saying is I don't have any more room in the freaking shop. We got should have built a bigger shop or just have less toys. So we're gonna park it in the garage there, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys wanna see us do to customize this. I said beefcake buggy. That was my vote Ooh, for the name. I like that. Yeah, I like, if you, you guys might have a better one. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. We are going to be passing this off to, once we kind of know what we're gonna do, we're gonna pass it off to Marty at Ultimate Truck and see what he can do. Maybe he can lift it, put bigger tires. Like I said, obviously some light bars, some racks. We want to make this thing the ultimate hunting vehicle. It's kind of what we tried to do with the mini truck. Mini truck's great. It, it's awesome. It's just loud. We figured, we found out we're like, you can't take this thing deer hunting. You're going to scare all the deer in the woods. Otherwise, you're walking. So what's the point of even taking something if you got to walk a quarter mile, half mile in? This, you could literally take to the deer blind and just get some of those camo tarp and throw it over the top of it and park it behind the blind. They would never smell it. They would never see it. They would never hear it. We're thinking this is the ultimate hunting vehicle. But like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What should we name? What should we do with it next? Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one and peace. But before I forget, remember, click the link down below to check out Current and be a part of the future of banking, folks. We'll catch you on the next one and peace. Hey, we got it stuck. Dad. Oh, hey, how's it going?